Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers here. And today I'm gonna to be going over maybe one of my favorite designs. So I've been hanging on to this beautiful elephant mandala pattern from More Horse Designs Company. They have these beautiful, intricate mandala designs on Etsy and I fell in love with this elephant. Being from Tuscaloosa, we all love elephants, the Crimson Tide, and red and white. So of course that's the design I wanted to go with on this cup. So about a year ago, I did this pineapple and I didn't really think about it being any kind of template. I just knew I wanted to add some color into it and lay some vinyl over it. And I had been waiting to do that same design with this elephant, except I'm gonna use less colors because the vinyl work is very intricate and I didn't wanna overwhelm it with colors. So that's what I'm gonna go over with you today. It's super easy, anybody can do this cup. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, give me feedback, ask any questions, and thank y'all for watching. So I'm starting out with a sanded cup and I've painted it with Rust-Oleum 2X Apple Red. And then I've printed off this mandala design. And I'm putting it up on the screen because it was really hard to see um, and all white on camera. So I thought the white would show up easiest on the red, but I didn't really think the, about you not being able to see it on camera. So I'm just applying my transfer tape here. And then this is a five inch square. It's five inches wide by approximately five inches long. So I'm just going to add, uh, apply my transfer tape and then add my design directly to the spray painted cup. I have not layer, put a layer of epoxy or anything on the cup first. It's just been sanded and spray spray painted. So I did want to add in here before I forget, when you go to print your vinyl decal off that we're laying right here, make sure you print this also in whatever color vinyl that you're going to lay on top of this after we lay the glitter. So, or save it to design space. I have learned that the hard way. I think we probably have all done that. Make sure you either save it or you print it off at the same time. This time I printed the silver off that I'm going to lay on top at the same time I printed my decal. So I'm just applying the decal now and being very careful not to pull any of the vinyl decal up. It does want to pull up pretty easy because there's no epoxy on this cup. So I've gone in here and weeded out the parts that I decided that I was going to paint red. I wasn't really sure, honestly, y'all, till I got it on the cup. So I probably could have done a better job of planning that, of weeding out before I put it on the cup, but I really wasn't sure till I got it on here what I was going to do. So I have gone back up and touched up a few little spots where the paint came off when I pulled the vinyl off as well. Um, it just kind of got a little scratched up. So I touched that up with just a little red spray paint and a paintbrush. And now I've just got straight Mod Podge and I'm going to apply Mod Podge to my little areas that I want to glitter red. And on the outer rim, that's going to be vinyl. So I don't, I'm not really concerned if where you see the little circles that are next to to the outside rim get glittered i'm just going to glitter all that for the most part because that's going to be vinyl laying over it anyway so that's a vinyl detail so it's not really going to matter whether it's white or red or whatever color it is so and then i'm going to use peachy olive glitters apple a day it's a finer red than sangria sangria is the color that i'm going to use on the main part of the cup and it's a beautiful red it's one of my favorite reds from PG Olive Glitters. It's one of my favorite reds of all time and I'm pretty hard to please on reds just because being in Tuscaloosa and an Alabama fan, we're kind of funny about our reds, but I love this color and the apple of the day is a finer cut of it. So especially in this little area where I'm doing little details, I wanted to use the thinner, you know, the finer glitter for that. I'm just going to work my way around um, using the Mod Podge and the glitter. I do use two coats on the elephant. I did do a second coat of Mod Podge and glitter over the elephant. And then on the outside, just because there's going to be vinyl laying over it, I didn't feel a need to go back with a second coat on that. And then also, I was very careful to not get off of the red into the white. But after I laid the vinyl, like the top silver vinyl that I'm going to lay, it didn't really matter. It actually made more of a difference if you could see white versus red. So it's actually okay to get out of the lines a little bit. So you'll notice I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect painter. Just like I don't cut straight lines. <laughs> I don't paint with inside the lines very well either. But in this case, it was actually okay. Because actually it was worse to see white than it was to see red once I laid the vinyl down. Thank you. 
So now I'm starting with just like, I mean, this was some extra epoxy I had left over. So I wouldn't even say it's like one milliliter. So I'm going to take just this little bit of epoxy and I'm going to apply it to the rest of the cup. So the red. So I want to apply all the red glitter before I go back in with my white. So I'm just kind of, you can see I'm just dripping it around the cup here. And I have gone in and brushed off all the red. So I let it dry really good, probably an hour or two. And then took a brush and just brushed off all the excess red. And then you can see I've just like, there's just a little bit left over here where I was actually using it on a cup. And I'm just going to spread that out very carefully around the cup, around my vinyl that's laying on there. And get it as close to the design as I can without actually going right up against it. And then I'm going to get my little silicone fine tipped pen and do the rest of it with that. So I'm just going to kind of take the little pen around and make sure that it gets right up along the edge of that white vinyl. And I try not to add much more epoxy. Sometimes I have to dip it down in there just to basically just get the tip with a little bit on it. But I'm trying not to add very much. I'm, try I'm trying to just stretch out what is already on the cup because uh, we are just doing the epoxy method. So it is just going to hang and I don't want any of the glitter or the epoxy running down into my design at all. And after I've got it covered in epoxy, I'm going to use Peachy Olive Glitters Sangria. It's such a pretty deep red. It's the perfect red when I put it over this base. They also have Suki, which is a lighter red that would be probably more the color of the base. But I just love this sangria over this. It just is the perfect Alabama red. So I'm going to apply my glitter and then tap off any excess. And I'm trying not to get it in my white vinyl, although... It shouldn't stick to it anyway because I feel like I've done a fairly good job of not getting epoxy on my vinyl. Um, I guess we'll see. And after I've let that dry for about six to eight hours, I'm going to go back in with just, you see, it's just a dry paintbrush and just brush off any excess red glitter. So after I brushed off all the excess, I am going to apply two coats of Mod Podge Gloss Adhesive Sealer. Um, I do one coat and then I wait about 30 minutes and then I do a second coat. And then now I'm ready to go in and do my white glitter in the center. So I decided on just doing one color just because there was a lot of vinyl work going to be going on here and I didn't want it to get too complicated. So I'm using Peachy Olive Glitters Lux. It's this beautiful white that has silver and gold mixed into it. It was just the perfect combination. I knew I wanted to do silver vinyl for the cup, but I wanted a little gold fleck in there too. So this was the perfect white to use. So I'm just going around with my Mod Podge, applying the glitter just like I did in the process before. And I only do one coat here. And after I'm done with my glitter, I am going to use one coat of the Mod Podge spray adhesive. And then I actually do apply two coats of epoxy here. Sorry, it got lost in translation somehow. So I use Counter Culture's Artisan Epoxy. I applied one coat of 20 milliliters. I let that dry for about four to six hours. And then I went into a second coat of 20 milliliters of epoxy. And I let that dry for about six to eight hours because now I'm going to sand the rim. So I'm going to carefully sand it. I'm using an 80 grit sanding block, but I, it's one that's kind of worn down a little bit. So you actually could do like a 120. I'm just going to be try to be really careful with this red glitter around the rim. I don't want to scratch any of it off where it's not red. So now here I have my silver detail that I printed off when I printed my original white vinyl just so I had it in the same size. I've printed that off and weeded it and I'm just going to use my transfer tape to carefully lay it down and then line it up with the cup and apply it to the cup. 
and I decided to leave the backing on my vinyl for as long as possible um, except for just this one little area to try to get it lined up pretty well first before I ended up with all these little pieces all over my cup and they weren't lined up. So then after I'm fairly sure I've got it lined up, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the decal, just taking it slow as I'm working around the cup and just making sure that I'm pressing it down pretty firmly so they're lined up and it's not going to pull off when I pull my transfer tape off. And then I had these cute little uh, initials that I did on a girl's cup and so I decided that I wanted to put mine on the back side of this cup. It, it was fine with just that design, I just thought it needed a little something else. So I am going to go in with my initials and here I'm just going to measure from one side to the other how much room I have for the initials, that's kind of how I work. I just measure and then I'm gonna think I'm deciding that I need them about three inches wide and then I'm also gonna kind of get a centering point so I know where the center of my back is where I want to line them up with and then once I make sure they're good and centered I'm ready to apply my initials and then remove my transfer tape and we're ready to seal this with some counterculture quick coat just after all the vinyl work that we've worked so hard to lay carefully on this cup i want to make sure to seal it so it doesn't lift or have any bubbles underneath it before i apply my next layer of epoxy so i am just going in with a little bit of countercultures quick coat and just applying a thin layer and then i let that dry for about an hour before i go into my coat of epoxy So after I've let the layer of quick coat dry for about an hour, I am going to go in and add 20 milliliters of Countercultures Artisan Epoxy. That's what I have here. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles. I let that dry for about four to six hours, and then I do go in with a final coat of another 20 milliliters of Countercultures Artisan Epoxy. And then after this coat's dry, we have a final product. So y'all let me know what you think. I will link all the products that I used today in the description box below, as always. Y'all ask any questions that I wasn't clear on, please tag me in your post. I know y'all are gonna be so creative and use way more than three colors like I did. So please tag me and let me see your creations. If y'all will go like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun, crazy stuff, I sure appreciate it. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.